Alright, what's up, Omayan? And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your banking apps on your Android phone. For this, you need to make sure that you have the Root Checker Basic app, which will make sure that root access is probably installed. Simply agree to the disclaimer, click on verify root. It is gonna ask you for super user request. Grant it, and this will make sure that you have root access properly installed or not. I'm just showing it because I do have root access properly installed on this device so you can make sure that my video is working okay so here we go I have installed root access through Magisk so if you have any other method of routing so this might not work for you so with that out of the way let's check on some apps the first app is the HBL Habib Bank Limited of Pakistan mobile app and you can see you are unable to access HPL mobile because your device is rooted or jailbroken and if you go to ok and this closes the app let's check another app which is the Mizon bank application security compromised which means root access and as well you cannot use some banking apps however some digital wallets like this easy pesa app this works for you if even if you have root access but still i recommend that you turn off root access for this app as well let me make sure yep easy pesa digital bank is working let's check out some another app google wallet and google wallet is also working even if i have root access on my android phone nice to know and next up we have the ubl digital bank app let's open it up and as you can see you cannot access the application because it appears that your device is rooted so we have three applications which are not working let's check out the jazz cash app this is more like a digital wallet and not an proper banking app that is why it is still working so let's close it up let's check another app which is the naya pay app this is also a digital wallet and not a banking app so this might also work yep this is also working and the last one we have is the Sada Pay app as you can see. Okay, so this is a digital wallet and not a banking app and this still does not work if you have root access on on your Android device. So we have four apps that require unrooted device to work and some four apps are still working on rooted Android phone. So now I'm going to show you how you can fix this. First of all, all you have to do is go to this link. I will provide this link in the description so you can download it for yourself download the latest version of magisk hide props config zip file after this file is downloaded i'll make sure that you download the next one which is the i will fire this link go to this link and download the safety net fix universal safety net fix go to the latest tab and under assets download the zip file safety net fix version number and the zip file after both of your downloads are completed, simply open up the Magisk app, go to the modules section and click on install from storage. It will open up default to downloads or you can down navigate to downloads and install the first module which is the Magisk hide props config file. Wait for it to flash. This is going to take some time, depends on the speed of your Android device. If you have a higher one, this will not take much more than a few seconds. But if you have a slower one, this might take a little bit of your time. After your installation is done, do not reboot your system. Yep. And install from storage, install the safety net fix as well. Let's wait for the installation to complete. And now you can reboot your device. I'm just gonna hit reboot and I will be right back. Okay, now as you can see, I have rebooted my phone and now let's see if we still have those functionalities enabled. Open up your Magisk app and wait for it. Go to the module section. As you can see, Magisk hide props config module is enabled and the universal safety net fix is also installed and enabled, which is good. Now all you have to do is go to the home section and go to the settings page we all you have to do is turn on these under magisk turn on zisk and enforce deny list 
these two options should be turned on after these are turned on you can go ahead and configure the Dynai list in configuration all you have to do is find those banking apps that you have installed let me just go ahead and find those apps this first is the digital wallet of EasyPesa this was still working but still I want it to work properly turn on for Google wallet as well the SPL mobile app as well make sure you enable everything and the bar is full you know what I mean what I mean yep I think I am going crazy right now let's turn on all those apps including their sub functionalities like you get two toggles under Sadapai app so turn on both of them yep UBR digital as well let's see what other apps I have installed okay once you have turned on all of these apps you can go back and open up the deny list again you, so you can make sure that all of those apps are selected and turned on which is good also one more thing if you are going to use Google Wallet I highly recommend that you turn on the deny list for Google Play services you might not find Google Play services right there so all you have to do is click on the three dot option and show system apps now you can go ahead and find the Google Play services or you can even search for it and turn all the toggles on just like this and let's check to make sure yep looks like everything is turned on now all we can go on uh, now we can go and check on those apps as well also one more thing I forgot that you also have to hide the magisk app as well simply hide the magisk app and give it a new name I'm just gonna type in my own name instead hit ok and wait for the magisk app to hide this is going to take a little bit of your time but I'm just gonna skip it right now okay as you can see the magisk app is still there and we have a new app without an icon so I'm just gonna open it up and this brings us into the magisk app without having its name on the home page or the apps section okay it is working let's close it and now as you can see magisk app is now gone now we can go ahead and open up our banking apps let's make sure that we still have root access verify root app yeah, we still have root access on our phone and now we can use the banking apps so before you use banking apps you can go ahead go to the app info and clear data so these apps work properly let's open it up now let's give it some permissions and now you can see the SBL mobile app is now working even I have root access on my phone let's go ahead and check the Mizan app bank app I did not clear data for this app but as you can see even without clearing the data this app still works which is a very good thing you don't have to clear data all the time you can make work it as well the easy pesa was still working but let's be double sure yep this is still working without having any problems google wallet was working even if i did not hide the magic cap and it is still working so we don't have any problem with there but there is one problem the ubl digital app does not work even whatever you do so some, some apps even if you clear data for them or even use this method some apps still won't work on you because they are high, highly secured so I do have a workaround for that I will tell you later so let's check the JS Cache app first as you can see this is still working without any problems check the Naya Pay app and this was even working even before I did this method and saw the pay app this was not working so this is now working so most of the apps still work but some apps like this UBL digital bank app still does not work you can do one more thing to make sure that it works or not all you can do is just uninstall this app and install it again if, when, if that doesn't work this workaround is that you can go to the internet browser search for that app and 
make sure you use the web version of that app without having to install that app on your device. You can create your username, password, verification code, and even if you did not have an account, you can create your account right here on the apps. I do I use Mizan Bank, so I do have a e-banking situation on Samsung Internet, so I do not use app for that. So this is how you can use it. Now I'm going to show you how you can uninstall these settings so you can go back to the normal state. First, the first step that we need to do is just go to our Magisk app in the settings, restore the Magisk app to its original state and this will give it the Magisk icon and the Magisk logo. Everything will be back to normal and to get those apps back to their original state you can just go to your settings again hide the prompt uh, let me just if you do not want these modules you can turn them off or delete it but go to your settings change the update channel to stable so you get the stable updates of the magic cap and go to your configure deny list as you can see we have some options unchecked i don't know why you can uncheck all of these options so your device is back to the normal state before this all process okay you can even no nothing else to change here okay now the settings are back to normal so if you do not want to use those modules you can turn them off or entirely remove them by pressing on the remove icon but and restarting your device but i'm gonna keep it for now because I sometimes use those banking apps on my phone anyway this is how you can use it I still have root access as you can see and now you can use your banking apps on your mobile phone even if you have root access and if you un undo these settings the banking apps go back to normal and do not work at all anyway that's been it thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one take care bye bye